What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's upload, we have the brand new Ford Mustang. This is the seventh generation fully redesigned and we're doing this whole video in POV format. So we're just gonna start with doing a quick little walk around and uh, take a look at the new styling. And as you can see, the front is uh, fully redesigned. In my opinion, it looks way better than the previous generation. It's very aggressive. We have a hood scoop here, which in my opinion goes really well with the rapid red color. The red and the black accents look great. Now we should all be very grateful that you can still buy a Mustang in today's day and age with a V8. And the new Mustang doesn't disappoint. It still has the five liter Coyote. Now for the new generation, five liter V8 in the Mustang, it puts out an additional 30 horsepower over the previous gen at 450. It now has 480. It is however down five pound feet of torque from 420 to 415. Now Ford offers a performance exhaust system, which they claim will uh, increase the horsepower to 486 and also increase the torque to 481, which is a, a big jump in torque just from an exhaust system. But this, however, is a standard Ford GT premium. The Mustang also comes in the trim level dark horse where it has 500 horsepower. So as we walk around here, the, the rear end obviously uh, also redesigned. I have to say that the redesign is, uh, it's a good one. It still looks like a classic Mustang, but uh, it has a more modern touch to it. And I'll be honest, I haven't checked to see if uh, you get better trunk space in the new generation. Uh, it looks to me like it is pretty much the same, which is around 13 cubic feet of trunk space. And we do have the upgraded stereo system in this specific Mustang as well, and it sounds great. So as we walk around here, we get to the sticker. A Mustang GT Premium starts at around $47,000. The car in today's video just has a couple options, and that is the rapid red uh, paint, which is a $495 option, and then 10-speed automatic transmission. The Mustang, by the way, comes standard with a six-speed manual, which is great. You can still buy an American muscle car with a manual transmission. And then we have uh, a Brembo brake package upgrade as well. So this car stickers at $54,295. One thing they should have upgraded is the wheel option, in my opinion. These wheels make this car look like a base model. It's awful. Key looks the same. We're gonna do a quick little remote start here. Sounds like a typical Mustang. I love that coyote sound. And we got the sequential blinkers. Ah, I love it. Now the biggest upgrade with the new generation Mustang is definitely the interior. And I mean the instrument cluster, which is awesome. So as you guys can see, we uh, do have the regular seat option here. There's no Recaro seats. As we jump in, we got a 13 inch screen for the instrument cluster. I think it's 13.2 and then we have a 12.3 inch screen for the center stack here. And the, the coolest thing about this screen is that you can go in here, you go to my Mustang, and then you go to cluster theme. And as you guys can see here from even the previous generation that the track setup screen is familiar for Mustang fanboys, but we can choose a regular theme as well. A sport, which I don't like at all. I hate this tachometer and the speedometer where it kind of, it looks like a BMWs, the, the new BMWs. I don't like it at all track we were just there then we have calm where in in typical supercar fashion pretty much you just have a tachometer in the middle and then a digital speedometer but this is the nicest one you can pick a fox body instrument cluster as well <laughs> look at that that is amazing fox body never had a backup camera obviously but goes with that saying modern mustangs do and it's a phenomenal one this one looks better than in my mercedes s-class i put my phone on wireless charging now we're gonna go to the different driving modes here as well. So very nice graphics here when you pick the driving mode. So this is normal. We have custom, slippery mode, drag strip mode if you need to be doing burnouts and stuff. And then you got track mode. So I'm actually gonna keep it in sport mode. And then we have it in manual. We got the paddles right here. 
Uh, this 10 speed automatic transmission is actually really good and it shifts lightning quick. So the new Mustang is supposed to do zero to 60 in around four seconds. I mean, it definitely moves. I have to say, it definitely moves. Obviously being rear wheel drive struggles uh, with traction. And then you actually have an acceleration timer here. Let's see if this works. You know what? I'm gonna just keep it in automatic. Now we're just gonna stomp on it and see what we get. Zero to 60. All right, start. Press OK on the steering wheel. There we go. <laughs> Stop session. I think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but hey man it rips i gotta say it rips again obviously it struggles for traction it's a rear wheel drive car oh there it is all right so we got five seconds um yeah i mean <laughs> that's not the best time it's here to 60 i'm sure this car can do way better than that if you use launch control and so on i think the official time is around four seconds but uh the mustang gt it definitely rips thank god for a ford mustang the original pony car and thank god we can still get it in a manual although our tester here today is not in a manual and thank god it's still in a v8 it is probably the last generation Mustang uh, that we're gonna be able to get with a V8 though. We all know what the automotive industry looks like nowadays. It's no fun. Dude, what the hell are you doing? I cannot believe that was on video. Did you guys see that guy just pulled out right in front of me? Well, the brakes definitely work. The Brembo package, I guess, is worth it. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, so we did another 0 to 60, but of course I, I thought the car camera was on, but it wasn't. So we're going to stop session. We're going to do this again. And then we're going to pull out here. All right, so after that little Brembo brake uh, package review, uh, <laughs> we're going to do another little 0 to 60 here. We're going to do it in manual mode. And here we go. All right, so we got 5.6 seconds there. Uh, I actually did one prior to that, but the camera wasn't on and we got 4.7. So you can definitely, uh, I'm sure, get this down to like four seconds. Um, I mean, I like the new Mustang. I dig it. All right, well, how does the Mustang handle? We got a windy road here. I mean, sits well on the road, got some body roll, but nothing too crazy. And of course, we have a freaking moving truck. All right, we lost the truck, so now we can get a feel for it in the turns. All right, 60 miles an hour in this turn. Yeah. needs better tires for sure I do have a I have to say a bit too much body roll for my liking But then again, the Mustang's gonna come out in a GT3 format, and then also I'm, I'm, I'm assuming like a GT500. I mean, so if you really want a track-focused Mustang, and you don't really buy a stock GT Premium. But all in all, I have to say this car performs well. I like all the upgrade in the tech, and uh, I don't know, my favorite thing is definitely the Fox body version of the instrument cluster that you can get. That is a really, really cool touch. 
So this has been a, a quicker little uh, POV review of the new Mustang that uh, I was graciously lent by my old employer, Moon Township Ford. So if you guys live in the Pittsburgh area, definitely check them out. This car is for sale and many others they have on there a lot. So uh, special thanks to them. We blast past this freaking truck. got to get past all these boring ass trucks so that's going to do it for today's video we're going to drive back to the dealership and hop in another completely different model make and type of car it has a manual transmission i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, pov video of the new 2024 mustang gt let me know what you guys think in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye